29 May 2020, and I'm joined by Mr. Kalipani Pogeni, spokesman for Dr. Tozan Kupe, acting MDCT president. How are you? I'm okay. How are you, sir? Nice day. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So let's go straight to the very interesting news that everyone has been waiting for. Has yes. the judgment been delivered in the court case? Yes. Okay, um, and what is the outcome? The the <laughs> The, the the case has been dismissed with costs. Okay. Now, when, when they dismiss your case with costs, you know what they mean. They, they basically mean you, you didn't have a case in the first place. Okay. So the case was brought uh, on an urgent basis. Yes. The, 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 the judge also dismissed that. The high court also dismissed that. I said there's nothing urgent here. Okay. What about the other relief? that they were seeking. They were seeking a number of reliefs. No, no, no. The, the High Court told them that they are not a party. Uh, they are not okay. a party uh, for want of, of a constitution. Now, I know that our folks get lost in, in this matter. The judge did not say there is no MTC alliance. He didn't say that to the High Court. It's because the MTC alliance exists uh, in the form of those seven parties. And uh, the MDCT, which is our party, was represented by Dr. Morgan Swangirai, who has since passed away and has been succeeded by Dr. Togozani Kupi. Right. So, so, so that agreement is there. The court will not interfere with that because all of us entered into it voluntarily. No one put a gun in anyone's head. We entered into that as a consequence of our free will. The judge has no problem with that. What the High Court has dismissed is to say, there is now therefore an MDC alliance party. There is no such a thing. And I might as well go further and say to you, because they carry on abusing this MDC alliance, which is our alliance, by the way, where the major, uh, where the major party uh, uh, right there. So we, 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 we will, in the near future, have to go to courts to protect our name. <clears throat> okay, now let's look at what is going to happen next? Yeah. Does this mean that you can now recall any MP who opposes or who goes against the Supreme Court judgment? Yeah, I, I think I told you even before this court case that any MP who is against the Supreme Court, they expose themselves to be recalled. Really, I mean, what can we do? Okay. So the yeah. MDC Alliance announced yesterday names of people that are coming to the standing committee. Are you going to recall everyone in that standing committee? No, look, like I'm, I'm telling you, is that those people who claim that they are no longer part of the MTCT, they are now part of a purported party, which is called MTC Alliance. We know it's not there, but by virtue of them doing that, it, it tells you that um, they are intransigent, even in the face of such judgments, they just, have dismissed themselves. So what can we do? All right, this is very, very interesting breaking news. I think let's get this to the people. Is there anything else you want to say before we close? No, I, I, I would like to thank the judiciary, really. I think they have been steadfast. Uh, even in the face of immense pressure, you would have seen the pressure coming from social media, uh, from newspapers, you saw that uh, deceiving headline, is it a day or two ago? Uh, so there's been a lot of pressure, but um, they have stood firm, and um, I really want to say kudos to our judiciary system. It's holding on. It's really holding on. Thank you very much, Mr. Pogeni. I would like us to come back again on Monday and talk after the case that was brought by the, the MP. I know this was different because the political party went to court. I want us to come back on Monday and have a look at Tapita Kumalo. A case has been at Jones. What do you think is going to happen there? Well, it's the same thing. Remember, these are free rollers cases. All they are just doing is they're abusing the legal system. And I can say this because they told us so. Remember when they were asked about their appeal? They said, no, when we appealed, actually, we wanted to suspend uh, execution of the judgment. Remember, they appealed to the high court judgment. 
uh, by Justice yes. Mushot. They appealed it and they, they said they just wanted to suspend execution so that um, they can have their Congress without hindrance or let. And, and there's something interesting there, and I know you haven't seen it, or, but maybe you'll interview me about it next time. Do, do you remember who gave them that strategy? I can't remember. It was Advocate Fadzai. Okay. Yeah, she's the one who tweeted that remember an appeal has the effect of stay of execution. And they, and they went for that and they followed it. I'm very happy now she's the spokesperson. I know she blocked you, but maybe you must try and, and find means and ways of communicating with her and just find out. At least they've got a legal mind there. So let's hear what will be her reasoning. How, will, how is she going to spin her, herself out of this? That's fine. Thank you very much, Mr. Pugeni. I'm really grateful that you've given us this breaking news. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Keep well. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>